Clinical psychology graduates have a number of career options. It's actually a, a field that has been named both by the Department of Labor and by the American Psychological Association as a growing industry. To be a therapist, um, to work in private practice or, when, or at various institutions. And they also have the opportunity to do some rather novel and bold things. With a PhD already in training, I've been allowed uh, access into a juvenile justice forensic setting that's nationally recognized and awarded and uh, has received numerous grants from the MacArthur Foundation. Working with our returning veterans, there are a tremendous number of veterans, as we all know, who have a variety of physical and psychological problems. Um, the, the VA centers around the country are constantly hiring. I'm in the military. So I work a lot with um, post-traumatic stress disorder, I work with individuals with TBI, and I wanted to expand my horizons. I wanted to learn more, and I wanted to specifically learn more about psychological testing. And fielding gave me an opportunity to be able to do that. So that's just one example within the psychotherapy and assessment area where demand is great and expected to be growing. Neuropsychology is an area where psychologists are in great demand. We do have a neuropsychology concentration, so it's exciting to be able to offer students the opportunity to specialize in that growing area. There are also graduates who have served on boards of different uh, professional organizations and also teaching. We also have graduates who are on faculty at various uh, universities throughout the country and even outside the country. Uh, we also have a forensic psychology concentration that also allows clinical students to specialize in that area which is also growing. Our students tend to be older. They tend to have families. I couldn't commit myself to being at a brick and mortar institution eight hours a day, five days a week for the next four or five years. I, I now have a six-year-old son. When I started the program he was two. They tend to have work that they have been doing. They are often competent uh, professionals coming into the program. Most of the students that I'm around, I'm surrounded, I'm a mid-career. Um, about half of our students come in with a master's degree. I, prior to coming to Fielding, had a master's in clinical psychology, but in my state that doesn't get you licensed. So you kind of need a doctorate to get licensed. A typical Fielding student would tend to be uh, someone in their 30s, 40s, 50s. They tend to be very diverse and creative individuals. Um, we have many students where English is their second language. Amazing in their uniqueness. Uh, you have people who are amazing visual thinkers, creative, you know, constantly coming up with amazing ideas. You have social activists. You have people who are science-minded. You have people who love the playground of ideas, who are playing around with concepts. And so they're typically coming to us not only with interesting work experiences and educational experiences, but with life experience. Mm -hmm.